Hi everybody, my name is Victor with Line 6 and I'm hanging out down here at Sam Ash today to give you guys sort of an overview of our newest floor processor, our multi-effects and amp modeling uh, unit, the Helix. All right, so the last section we want to talk about with Helix is the control side of things. Um, Helix has a massive amount of I.O. on it, which allows you to bring in outside gear into the Helix environment. So if you're a guitar player, chances are you've got a collection of Stompbox pedals that you still would like to be able to use. And fortunately with Helix, we can do that. We can do it pretty easily. So the same way I would set up an effect inside of Helix by selecting a blank spot and pressing it on my joystick, I can scroll down and instead of choosing one of the internal effects, go to my send and return section and find an effects loops. Now, I can assign these to foot switches the same way I would an internal effect, just by touching and holding and telling Helix OK. And I can also move that effects loop anywhere I want in my signal chain. So now, if I was to plug a physical pedal into that effects loop one, I'm controlling it from inside of Helix. I have four effects loops to kind of bring these effects in any which way I see fit. Um, and beyond just bringing in stomp boxes, Helix is also designed to work with your amplifier. So we have an external amp control out, which allows Helix to control any foot switchable function on your amp. And setting up controls for that is done super easily as well. This is actually going to be one of the only times that we really have to dive into a menu section, which is found in the upper left hand corner of Helix. And I'm going to press the control or the command center button here in the middle. Then all I have to do is highlight which foot switch I want to send the commands out of Helix and then scroll here and choose which type of command I want to send. In the case of using external amplifiers, I'm just going to choose external amp and then choose whether I want the tip or the ring or both options to trigger when I tap the button. If your amp happens to be a MIDI amplifier, then obviously we have a lot more control with that as Helix is fully MIDI capable as well. And last but not least, we also have the ability to send control voltage signals out from Helix to synth pedals or you know, pedals like a Mooger Fuger. So if we want to have Helix using the expression pedal to send control voltage out to those type of pedals, we're finally able to do so. So in addition to control voltage signals and um, our external amp controls, the command center is also where we can set up any number of MIDI commands to be sent out to external gear. And it's as simple as just choosing which type of MIDI message you want to send and which channel you want to send it on. So again, super easy to design. The, uh, other idea in Command Center is that we can fully customize the scribble strips on any of these pedals to you know, change the color to whatever we want, or we can just rewrite the scribble strip to say whatever we want it to say. So if we have any outside piece of gear that we want to you know, have a clear glimpse of what we're controlling inside of Helix, we can do that and set it up just to make it a little easier just to look down and at a visual glance, see what's happening on stage. And for the last bit, just to show you guys a little more of uh, some of the deep dive things we can do here with parameter control, again, if I choose my delay pedal by tapping it or highlighting it with the joystick and pressing in the encoder, telling it to learn control, I can assign that to the expression pedal. Um, the cool idea is that I can tie multiple things to the expression pedal. So if I want the feedback of that same delay to be tied to the same expression pedal, but moving in opposite directions, I can do that by swapping the minimum and maximum values. And now you can see that the mix and feedback of my delay are kind of X, Y axis across each other. So I can do that multiple times if I want to have the level of the delay move at the same exact time, I can do that. It's really completely up to you how much control you want to assign to expression pedals. And so on board we have one expression pedal here, this heavy duty treadle, they have affectionately named it, that'll uh, split between expression pedals one and two. I can also add two additional expression pedals giving me three total between the, between the onboard one and two externals. And the same idea with external expression pedals, simply telling something to learn to control and moving that pedal will assign that parameter to it just as easily.